So we have now established the inner circle with all of its angles and degrees and radians and all of its coordinates. Let's see if we can understand the inner circle a little bit better. I want to start by taking the 30, 60, 90 degree triangle and I'll redraw it over here. And this acute angle is 30 degrees. Now remember from our first video using special values that if my hypotenuse is one, this distance here was one half and this adjacent distance is just the other two. And we have those values here as well because remember the root three on two represented that distance, that half represented this distance. Okay, the root three on two represented the x, uh, the x component of that coordinate and that one half represent the y value of that coordinate. Okay, so let's say I wanted to know what is the sine of 30 degrees. Sine 30 is equal to my opposite, which is one half, divided by the hypotenuse, which is one. Now, if one half is being divided by one, isn't that just one half? Well, yes it is. So in fact, right there we can see that sine 30 degrees is equal to one half. And can we see that on our unit circle? Yes, we can. There's my 30 degrees. There is my one half. So in fact, this one half is in fact equal to sine 30. Interesting. Here's my next one. Cosine 30 degrees is equal to my adjacent. The adjacent is root three on two, divided by the hypotenuse, which is one. Well, if root three divided by two is just, divided by one is just root three on two, I can see that cosine 30 is in fact, equal to root three on two. And there you go. Now, wouldn't that be true for 45 degrees and for 60 degrees? Yeah, so if I said, here's my uh, 45 degree triangle, and my hypotenuse is one, this is 45 degrees, this distance here, vertical distance is root two on two, this horizontal distance is root two on two, I could say, well, what's the sine of 45 degrees? Well, my opposite is root two on two. Dividing by the hypotenuse, which is one, doesn't change that root two on two. So sine 45 is in fact equal to root two on two. And the same would be true for cosine as well. Cosine 45 degrees is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, also root two divided by two. So this horizontal distance is my cosine value. That's cosine 45 degrees. So really, every coordinate along the perimeter of the unit circle represents, it shows you what the sine and the cosine values are of that angle. So this here tells me that the cosine of 5 pi on 6, I'm using radians now, 5 pi on 6 is negative root 3 on 2. This, this value right here tells me that the cosine of 4 pi on 3 is in fact equal to negative 1 half. This value right here tells me that the sine, because it's on the right hand side, the sine of the angle 300 degrees is equal to negative root 3 on 2. Okay, and that's really, that's extremely handy to know. So really, I could say any coordinate on the perimeter follows this formula, cosine theta comma sine theta. And that works for both radians and for degrees for the angle theta. We'll pause there.